So in this here lesson, I'm going to go over how to create objects using the lathe tool. Now to use the lathe tool, you usually have to create a line or some type of lined object. Um, you'll find these under shapes over here in the top right hand corner. Okay. Uh, if we go on here, you'll see that we have a line tool, rectangle, ellipse, donut. Uh, there's various, uh, various options, but for us right now, we're going to use the line. Uh, whenever I'm creating a line or anything like that, I never use my perspective view just because it's hard to gauge like how big the line is sometimes, uh, just because of the orientation of the camera. So for this here, I'm just going to use the front view. Okay, I'm just going to maximize that. Um, the line tool works in a couple of ways. So if I click here, first of all, you can see it's created a point, and if I move my mouse around, it's also uh, dragging out a line with it. If I hold Shift. I can create a horizontal line. If I bring it vertically, I can create a vertical line. Um, I'm just going to create a horizontal one here. If I want to curve my line, all I have to do is for my next point is click, hold that click down and drag it. And you can see that my line is going to curve around. And again, I can curve it this way, that way, and this way. Then if I want to end this, all I have to do is hold down right click and it will produce the finished line. In my modify tab, I can go in here and I can actually manipulate a lot of aspects of this. So I can manipulate the orientation of that curve or how much it is actually curving. I can actually move around that point as well. I can do that in segments. So I can grab a segment and move that around or I can grab the whole spline and do that. I've got other options in here, which I'll go through in a bit. Um, if I want to lathe this tool, all I have to do is make sure I've got my line selected. Click on the modify list. Just press L on your keyboard and you'll find lathe there is at the top. Once I do that, you'll see that it's actually revolved around my line to create this object. Okay. But it's not exactly what I want. So, its alignment is out. So it's going by its center or its max. What we want to do is we want to hit min, okay, which means that it's going to go by the very first point and revolve around that, the crater object. So you can see here now I've got like a vase. Uh, at the bottom as well, uh, you'll notice that we've got some slight shading issues. This is because we haven't welded the core, okay, so that means that all the points here are now one, okay, so they're welded together. Um, I can also turn down or up the number of segments that I want to have here. And then I can cap the end and cap, cap the, the start as well of it. Now, one of the problems that we have with this vase at the minute is that it, it has no depth to it, okay? We can do that through the line. You'll notice when I click on the line, my object disappears. And then when I click on my lace modifier again, it'll appear back. Um, if I go to my line, I'm just back into my front view. What I want to do is I want to select my spline and I'm going to go down here in the tools and then there's an outline tool. What I want to do is I want to click and drag on that and you can see it's making a double line for me so that's going to add depth. So when I go back up to my lathe tool, you'll see now that it has that thickness to it. If when I'm in my line tool and I want to um, see my end result straight away, I can click on this here icon, which is show end result. Okay. So whenever I'm moving something in my line, such as this vertex, so if I move these two vertices around, you can see that it's actually moving my line around as well, or my finished lathe. There's other tools in here as well. I'm just going to turn that off. So for instance, if I wanted my edges here to be rounded, I can use this fillet tool, okay, and click on my edge. You can see here that it's kind of rounded them off for me, which is quite handy. And then I go back to my lathe tool, and you'll notice that it's kind of beveled those edges in there. We can take this a step further as well. If I just delete my object, what I want to do is maybe trace around a cylindrical object. The lathe tool works best with cylindrical objects. So um, I've got a Coke bottle here. 
that I want to trace around. But I, first of all, I want to take that into my scene. Uh, to do that, I'm just going to hold my mouse over here and just check the dimensions of it. So it's 247 width by 900. So in 3ds Max, I want to make a plane that is 900 in length and that it is 247 width. So those are the exact dimensions now of this image. And then simply all I have to do is drag and drop the image onto that plane and my cook bottle will appear. Now since this is kind of more of a top down view, again I'm not going to use my perspective view, I'm just going to go into my top view here. I can't see my bottle yet, that's because it's on wireframe, I'm just going to turn on shaded. And just to clean up, I'm just going to press G to get rid of my grid. And then just like we did before, I'm going to go into shapes with the line tool and I'm going to start tracing out my bottle. If you don't get this perfect first time, remember you can go back and change the vertices, placement, the angles, that type of thing. I'm just going to quickly trace it out. And I'm going to use this straw to gauge where I should end. Okay, so I've got my bottle traced. Again, just going to the Modify tab. If I need to change any of the vertices, I can come in here okay, and move them around if needs be. So I can do that very, very simply. Um, but I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go to my line tool, go to the Modifier list, press L for lathe. And just lathe it around. Remember, your line has to be set to min. Okay, so it's going to take it from the min. And uh, that seems pretty good. I'm happy enough with that. Go to my perspective view. And that seems pretty well done too. So next thing I want to do is add that thickness in. So I'll go to my line, go to my top view. Click on the spline. Go down to outline and I'll zoom in and I'll just check how thick I'm going to make this bottle and then when I'm happy with that just go to my lathe <coughs> to use this here as a edible poly you're going to first have to uh, right click and collapse all and just press yes and then it's a mesh here but if you right click it you can turn that into an edible poly okay so now you can do whatever you want as normal uh, with any other model, you can grab polygons, use extrude, that type of thing.